Two at 10 tonight. It has been more than seven months since a large fire destroyed more than 30 vehicles in a parking lot near Sky Harbor Airport. Many of the victims were from the Tucson area away on trips. Now, some of them tell the News 4 Tucson investigators they are still waiting for answers as fire officials continue to give no sign of when they're going to release their findings on the blaze. And our chief investigative reporter, Chorus Nylander, has the latest in tonight's News 4 Tucson investigation. Well, five months ago, we first showed you the plight that several local victims were in without a report showing what caused this fire. They faced roadblocks getting any coverage from insurance. The clock kept ticking and still no answers. It was July 20th, 2023. Smoke could be seen for miles as a ball of fire consumed much of the Sundance parking lot, which services travelers at Sky Harbor Airport. The blaze destroyed more than 30 vehicles at the parking lot and a nearby propane business, a total loss. I couldn't even tell it was my Jeep. My Jeep was black and it was just white, disintegrated. Tanya Gooding, who lives near Tucson, was away on a trip and saw the devastation over the news. She thought since she has insurance and surely someone would be responsible for such a fire, she'd be taken care of by either the owners of the parking lot or Bill's propane service, which many assumed was the source of the fire. It would be nice if they would just settle with all of us so we can all move on. You know, they both have insurance. But without a report from the Phoenix Fire Department determining the cause, there's no way to point a finger at anyone. The propane business, which is part of Letterman Energy, has denied that the fire started there, saying, quote, a cause has not been established, and like everyone else, we're waiting on the fire marshal's report. I would like to make it very clear that there has been no indication to this point from any of the officials investigating the incident that the source was even on our property, much less that it was caused by our personnel, equipment, or operations, and we remain very confident that is the case. That statement was from September. We reached out to them again to see if they share the same concerns about the long delay releasing the fire report. Last week, they told us, quote, Letterman's has fully cooperated with all official requests to this point and will continue to do so, and we appreciate the diligence on the part of all the inspectors and first responders. I don't think we're going to offer further comment as this seems to be a question between the car owners and fire officials. The News for Tucson investigators called officials with the Phoenix Fire Department. In August, I was told the report was complete and would soon be released. It wasn't. Again, on September 5th and the 12th, we emailed for an update. They simply told us nothing was released. We followed up again October 11th and 25th with no response. Our calls have since gone unreturned. We emailed again January 8th. Once again, no response. We have been calling them and sending them, sending them, sending them emails and no follow back. Stephanie Perez lives in Sarita. She lost her truck in the fire, which was used for her business. I just started crying. Literally just started crying. I couldn't believe it. Without that fire marshal report, she couldn't even file a claim against the parking lot or propane businesses insurance companies. She hasn't been able to get any coverage. She chose to buy a new car, making car payments even though her old truck was paid off. Everything has been brushed under the rug and everybody's acting like nothing happened. And some of the victims, like Tanya Gooding, tell me that they've tried to get attorneys and take legal action, but have had trouble getting anyone willing to take this case. We're going to keep asking questions and update you as that report eventually is released. Reporting from downtown Tucson, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson. All right. Well